Hello everyone. In this video, we are given two circles which are identical, having each of radius 10 units. These circles are tangent at one point to each other. If we draw a line segment in such a manner that this line segment is tangent to each circle uh, and uh, there is a square stuck between these two and the tangent then by this limited data we have to find the area of this square let move towards the solution and make some modification in the uh, figure first of all let me draw a line segment this one uh, which is actually the side of uh, the square and uh, let we say that this uh, length is equal to a mean side length of the square is equal to a now we draw another line segment which is actually the radial line of uh, a circle which is having length is equal to 10 unit and it meets one of the corner which is tangent to the circle now draw another line uh, this one this is again a radial line and uh, from here we can see that if we draw line segment this one it uh, uh, we suppose that this have length is equal to b and this line and this uh, length b makes an angle of 90 degree now since one side of square is equal to a so all sides of the square are equal to a now this whole length is a 10 units because this is radius of the circle and this length is a it means this length is equal to 10 minus a now by pythagoras theorem 10 minus a square plus b square is equal to 10 square by simplifying this one we will get 100 plus a square minus 20a plus b square is equal to 100 and from here 100 will be cancel out with 100 so this equation become a square minus 20a plus b square is equal to 0 and uh, from here we separate b square and then we find the value of b that is square root of a times 20 minus a let me call it equation number 1 now uh, we make some more extensions in the figure let me draw a line this one this is again the radial line and it is equal to this line and parallel also these two lines are parallel moreover we extend this line this line segment in yellow is equal to b length because this one is b now from figure we can see that this length b and this length a and this length b the sum of these three length is equal to 20 units because this line is similar to this line which is 10 plus 10 and we can write it b plus a plus b is equal to 20. now from here 2b plus a is equal to 20 substituting the value of b from equation number one in this equation we will get this one subtracting this a on the right we will get this one securing on both sides of the equation we will get this one from uh, if we expand this square this 2 will become 4 and uh, this square will be cancelled out with this square root so it simplifies to 4a into 20 minus a is equal to 20 minus a square now we can see that a is not equal to 20 because this whole length is equal to 20 this whole length is equal to 20 and a is a smaller portion of this length so a cannot be 20 so we can divide 20 minus a on both sides 
and if we divide on both side it will be cancel out in this manner so 4a is equal to 20 minus a if we take this a in the left this will become 5a is equal to 20 and dividing 5 on both sides we will get a is equal to 4 now we have find the side length of uh, the square which is equal to a and we know that area of square is equal to the square of its side and thus area of the square will be equal to 16 square units and that is the answer if you are new on my channel then please subscribe my channel and give a thumbs up to the video thank you for watching